Outside signs, Feynman's interests were also flourishing. He'd become an accomplished bongo player, and he developed a love of painting and drawing, based on a close friendship with renowned Californian artist, Jariah Zorthian. Jariah, he said, you don't know a, a thing about physics, and I don't know a thing about art, and yet we both admire Leonardo da Vinci. What do you say we become two Leonardo da Vinci's? He said, one Sunday I will give you a day of uh, physics, and the following Sunday you give me a day of art. When he started, he was absolutely an amateur. I mean, you know, just very, very crude. He drew a picture of me when I was, when I was young and very fidgety. And, and he just has, you know, he just has my, my head, some hair, and then, and then like my hands up here. So clearly I was kind of like, oh, I don't really want to do this. It's pure with his, um, that he can see the gesture. I think he maybe got a kick out of working with his hands, but particularly the pen and doing features of people. In the end, he became a very accomplished draftsman. So enthusiastic an art student was Feynman that he took to spending time in Giannone's, a strip bar in Pasadena. Here he divided his attention between sketching the girls and solving physics equations. Other physicists couldn't understand it and say, you know, Feynman is supposed to be a physicist and he is a brilliant, brilliant physicist and we need his input very often at, in Caltech. We need him to talk to us about physics. But what does he do? He goes off and spends all this time with go-go girls, bongo drummers, and artists. He wastes so much time on people. I don't see what they give him. But I think that Feynman got a lot out of people and I think it enriched his life. <laughs>